if this were to be our last conversation, what would you want to tell me? My goodness. <laughs> What's the pain in me that you wish? Oh my word! What's the pain in me that you wish you could heal? Yeah, my God, deep. Yeah. Does it get deeper as we as we go? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time tuning in, I'm Sinotana and this is my partner, Yamkela. Um, if you are new, please Can't do. I forgot my name there for a second. I don't okay. call your name. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. This is my partner, oh baby. If this is your first time tuning in on my channel, please do consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for returning and for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. So today we are going to be doing a um. What are we doing? Is there a Q&A? Is there a Q&A? What think, is it? It's uh, a Q&A, yes. It's mm -hmm. a Q&A. We are going to be doing a Q&A. And this Q&A has been long overdue because it was prepared by my sister like a year ago. <laughs> 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 but there has been things there going on life, here and there. Life, yeah. The weapons were prospering and we couldn't do it. <laughs> but so, yeah. so today we are going to be doing that video. Um, we have no idea what the questions are. We yeah. have like no idea what um, the theme of this Q&A is. But basically she's going to be ans asking us those questions and then we are going to give answers. So yeah. without wasting any time, Let's I hope you enjoy. Answers. And let's get into the video. Yep. Can we start? <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> yeah, let's go. So if you see us looking that side, we are looking at the yeah, yeah, the, the lady person who's the asking lady. the questions. Mm. Okay, the first question is. Okay. Is it a question? Okay. Describe what you remember from the first time you met. Okay, I'll go first. Go first. <laughs> I remember first of all bumping your phone out of your hand. Yay! That's one thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was kind of nervous actually, but I was really nervous. I was a wreck, but like I wasn't showing it. But that whole bumping the phone thing kind of, it, it, ish. Yeah, that's, 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 that was the biggest thing for me, you know, because yeah. eh? like I was like, oh man, everything could have gone perfectly. And then I was like, oh man, it's kind of, yeah. But yeah, that was awesome. I was nervous actually. I'm sure you didn't notice, but I was really nervous. I didn't. Mm -hmm. So the first time we met, so we actually were talking on the phone for quite some time. I think it was a few mm -hmm. months. Then. Yeah. So we, yeah. Yeah, because we met around July, August, and then we always oh, started talking around July, August, and then we met November. Yeah, it was I think so. So yeah so i was excited to meet this guy nervous as well and then i was i remember we were at mcdonald's because we had a study group so we were at mcdonald's and we were studying and he tells me that he's downstairs and we were upstairs and then i go downstairs and then when i as i was like walking downstairs i saw this guy Cute. <laughs> you had seen me before in pictures. <laughs> but it was my first time seeing oh, yeah, you in yeah, person. Oh, gotcha. mm, yeah. So I saw this guy. You were walk, you were with your friend, right? mm, Yeah, you were yeah. with your friends. So I saw him like nah, And then I I was going down the stairs. And then you smiled. Of course. You smiled, and you had the cutest smile in the entire world. I was like, yeah. <laughs> You're trying to keep me smiling. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then you smiled, and then um. Then I said, figure out where you are. the phone, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're on the last step. Yeah, they said, I'm moving. He's like, oh, it was that yeah, kind of so thing. So that was the vibe. That was the vibe. I remember being really, really nervous. I'll, yeah, yeah. But anyways. Yeah, and then, but but right, yeah, we didn't talk a lot because we, we, not a lot. Like we walked out, kind of. Yeah, like maybe. 10 minutes or so 10 minutes or so because yeah. you were with your friends and i was studying uh, it school. wasn't a plan to banner with like we, mm. we didn't plan to meet or anything it just yeah. happened by sit down somewhere so yeah 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 that was a long answer for you yeah yeah let's okay. go next one hey how do you describe our relationship to others our relationship, our relationship. Mm -hmm. hmm. huh. good question 
to oh. others, to other people. Mm. Okay, I would say that our relationship is Christ-centered. Mm. That's what I would say. Beautiful. I would say that it's a um, courtship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say it's a courtship because our our aim or our goal is to get married and so we are dating with the intention of getting married so it's not just dating j just dating um there's that intention there's that goal and there's that working towards that goal yeah so i would say it's a courtship it's a godly courtship because i know um even if you're not a christian you can have like a courtship as long as there's that intention to get married mm. and you're yeah, yeah. exploring the relationship and stuff yeah yep that's what it is i mean but like describing it to people it depends uh, on what the question is but i think the first thing i would say is like no i'm in a committed relationship and obviously i think for guys that raises a question because you say you're in a committed relationship um and then that kind of bring brings up the question about like committed relationship that means you're not doing anything else on the side so I guess everything else that you're mentioning about being Christ-centered and courting and all those things sort of follow afterwards mm. um, from the question about the what kind of yeah, commitment? So. Yeah. Okay. Coolness. But coolness. 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 Yo, so let me go first. Mm. My goodness. Yo, how many words? <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> I like read a thousand words. My word. What does it feel like? Mm. Mm. It feels like a light. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you telling me? <laughs> you watch it. It's warm. Um, no, you can answer first. No, you can go first actually. <laughs> I'm, I'm struggling to. to yeah. Okay. I don't want to be cheesy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's who you are, then it's who you are. Um, yeah. I would say that your love feels like. <laughs> wow. Kidding. <laughs> We're wasting time. It We're feels time. like. Oh my gosh. You see, it's not easy. It's very It feels like I I I I want to say it feels like God's love and I'm going to elaborate on that. I want to say it feels like God's love. Um but obviously God's love is like the Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's too big. Glimpses maybe sort of. Eh, uh, where it gives me an idea of his love. Let me explain why. Yeah. Because um you are very gracious. Mm. You give me grace and you are forgiving. You're very forgiving and you are kind. You are caring. Um, you are thoughtful and you put me before you mm. sometimes. <laughs> yes, Depends. It's important to clarify. <laughs> Yeah, no. um, so those attributes, I think those attributes I are saying. what I normally would say are God's attributes, you sure. know. Mm. So that's how, that's what it feels like, even if uh, you, you, you are kind, mm. yeah. Wow, well, now I have to top that. <laughs> <laughs> don't have I to. can't, I gave it if I tried, but yeah, uh, I'm looking for. Mm. Yeah, it's a difficult question for me, honestly. I, I would say currently, yeah, mm -hmm. currently, um, I would say I experience a love. Um... A few moments later. I feel like I'm going to say the same thing you said about me, about That's being okay. precious and all these things. That's okay. Because I feel like patient, I think patient more than anything. Patient, um... Oh my word, these words. Like, everyone is like, okay, patient, understanding, blah, blah, blah. It, yeah, well, it doesn't feel, I don't, yeah. But um, I would say patient. Mm. That's how it feels. It feels, it feels kind. 
Mm. It does not feel kind sometimes, obviously. I mean, yeah. But yeah, I would say for the most part, for sure. And then, hmm. it feels real more than anything. Like um, that that I have no doubt of. Like I don't know um, how people say, ah, oh, you know, you don't know the human heart, and you can never really tell if somebody loves you and all those things. But I don't have that at all. Like it's something I don't doubt. Like even for for a second, no, no matter what happens, whether we're fighting or not fighting, but it's like yeah, sure. Yeah, but, so so there's that assurance. But I know, I know, but. Mm. So, how does it feel? Mm. It feels, it feels certain, yeah. If that, if that answers the question, I hope it does. Yes. Producer, producer. Come on. <laughs> okay. Producer. What is the best thing you learned from our worst fights? Hmm. Hmm. What, what a good question, girl. <laughs> wow, you were inspired. Get into it. <laughs> <laughs> The best things we learned from our worst fights. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a good question. Mm. Mm. First, I'll, I'll, I'll go first because a lot. I would say one of the first things I realized. Well, this is when we were living together because that's when we started having like 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 serious arguments. Um, before that, it was like yeah, we only saw each other after two months. Yeah, because so we were in a long like, relationship. Yeah, it was a whole honeymoon vibes the whole time so i would say that first of all you don't process things the same you don't process things the same the same way yeah and um yeah that's one of the i think that's the biggest, the biggest thing okay one. wow we yeah. don't process the same and so having to learn that okay this is how this person processes this is how i process and having to make that thing those things work sorry you're disturbing me sorry, sorry. But yeah, having to make those things work, like having to understand her and at the same time uh, understanding myself and kind of finding middle ground in those things, like, yo, it's been the most difficult thing, but uh, I would say the most, one of the most valuable things I learned from, like, you know, yeah. Yeah, fights and stuff. Mm. Not, not the only one, so when I think about others, I'm sure there's, oh, yeah. Oh, I have a written question, what have i learned from what's our the best thing you uh, best thing you have you learned from our worst fights yeah best thing oh, there i it is. have learned from our worst fight yeah the best thing i think it's something that i always learn in hindsight like, i don't always get it during the fight but like when we have like when we are fine yeah. i always learn this thing and it's that um, we normally want the same thing, but maybe we don't see that because during the argument or the fight or whatever, each person is trying to defend themselves or each person is like wants to be heard and we don't get the chance to then <clears throat> hear each other. And all this time we, we are saying the same thing. It's just that we're not giving each other the chance to to hear what the other person is saying and yeah i think that's that's one thing that i i've learned is that we want the same thing we do mm. it's just that <sighs> we need to yeah to that i think sorry i check out yeah. yeah i think i think i hear what you say mm. and also i would say that too for me in you know how um, I don't know who said this, but I heard it somewhere about, okay, you know, actually when you're having this thing that you're dealing with, especially as a couple, it's important to, to understand that you're not fighting the person, but rather dealing with the, the, the issue. And yeah. so, yeah, now, that's, that's no, one of those things, but okay, whatever me. happens, we try to, yeah, but okay, it's not about, I have to be right, so and so has to be wrong, but rather dealing with the problem itself, not, yeah, I guess. Mm. And I guess it's something that you need to be intentional about. And remind each other that. Yeah, because in arguments, your emotions. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I wish we could argue without emotions. I wonder what that would be like. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Next question is, what scares you the most? Um, with regards yeah. to the relationship or just in general. Okay. I don't know. I think for me, let me. I think let's keep it to the relationship because yeah. Yeah, because we're talking about the yeah. relationship. Yeah. Mm. Okay. I think for me, it's death. Mm. Me dying. You dying. <laughs> yeah, but I am gonna die. That I scares me. Of the inevitable. 
it scares me even if it's, it's inevitable it, it scares me i don't want to like my worst fear is being alone not alone <laughs> but living without you that makes me feel special and now all of a sudden i have to start like start over mm. not not start over per se but i have to learn how to live without you yeah maybe it's time Be over because you're see. dead i suppose it's the same thing but for me i guess it is losing you but i've never thought about how exactly but like the fact that like okay sim is all in my life that's i suppose it could be death too from my home gain in a way but mm -hmm. i feel like with death and losing you to death that's kind of like i know it's not better <laughs> i want to say it's better <laughs> but it's like yo okay you should die you know, like, um, um, now. Uh. yeah i mean we're gonna meet in heaven one day all these things but yeah if, I just I think about just losing you, not not necessarily about how. How? I don't really get into the specifics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but just that. Yeah. Okay. So. Mm. What makes our relationship work? What makes it work? Makes it work. Mm. Um, I think the fact that we want the same things. Most importantly, we want the same things and. Uh, we have the same values yeah i think i think i think actually jesus is a, is a big deal yeah. in, in this in this regard because uh, i don't know i mean i feel like yeah yeah no i think yeah. that's uh, the clue that is holding everything together mm -hmm. i would say we have the same beliefs same values mm. even if like you would take a random topic mm. nine out of ten times we agree we have the same perspective mm. so we kind of think the same you yeah, know? yeah i think yeah. that's what makes it work because I, I would imagine a relationship whereby you're always opposing each other and you always think you agree differently you don't agree mm -hmm. on anything that would be yeah no and you call yeah so i think In what makes it work is that we i don't want to say we are almost like the same person it's just that you are young girl and i'm not young. Mm -hmm. but we think the same thing we share the same sentiments on things and stuff yeah mm. okay when are you most worried about me? Most, most what? worried. Oh, okay. Most worried. Uh, huh. Yeah, it's a good question. Do you want to go first? I want to go first. I want to say I'm most worried about you. I feel like I know. I feel like you I know are. the answer. But <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, that's cool. When you are working at night, oh, there's okay. that. I'm, I'm wrong. Yeah, because yeah, you work at night. And it's not safe. Mm. Um, also, when I know that you're not okay, mm. and I know for you, you don't process things like I process them. So when you are not okay, I stress or oh, I worry about you getting into like depression or something. Um, and I worry that you won't always communicate that because you are not like one of. You don't always communicate how you feel, ne? Yes, yeah. I guess. So to my detriment. You don't communicate how you feel like I do. Yeah, no. I think it has to do with God, how male, you, females, we're different. Not, no, besides that, I think you're cool I'm sound like do, do you think you, you grew up like I mean you had a small problem in to to vent and to communicate mm. your feelings and all those things. Uh, yeah. So you don't know why no, to not to really, no. Yeah, but that's the thing. So if I know there's something wrong going on, mm. I worry that how are you doing mentally and mm. what if this thing is going to drive you into depression? And mm -hmm. I feel like it doesn't help when you are also not vocalizing your feelings yeah. when that thing is going is happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought you were gonna say when I'm not reading my Bible, <laughs> I, <laughs> but I'm not connected. But yeah, I wouldn't know because I don't stay with you. Of course, of course, of course. But that would be a concern. Um, when am I most worried about you? Mm -hmm. Good Lord. For me, yeah, I guess, I guess, yeah, I guess, I guess for me it would be that sort of situation when we're in a state where I feel like. We're in a relationship, but the things that matter to us, the things that we value the most, we're not like 
in line or in tune with those things mm -hmm. like we together like spending time reading the bible and going through these conversations that we normally go through mm -hmm. but that is not happening because i know but it's not healthy for me um so it's like you know yeah so i would say that yeah i'm worried about it. Yeah, but mm -hmm. at the same time yeah that's that and being worried because I, ish, at the same time i'm not in a good space to say maybe i'm going to be there for you or give you support in that regard but let's get back up into this thing right? mm -hmm. So yeah, I just said, I guess I'm more worried about you. My then. spiritual. Yeah, yeah, because there's no reason for me to worry about your physical. There, there is obviously because this is South Africa, I mean. Sure. But yeah, and you're a female, but um, there's never like a, a real tr threat in a way, because also was saying you go to work, from work back home, so. You take them to work. Yeah, yeah so. Yeah. That not really, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> if this were to be our last conversation, what <clears throat> would you want to tell me? My goodness. <laughs> this girl oh what would i want to what would i want to tell you i would want to tell you that i love you and that you are you're not the best thing that has ever happened to me i want to be truthful that is jesus it's not you but but for real though you are right up there one of the most important things that i've ever you know so i don't want you to cry do not weep <laughs> <laughs> do not weep yeah so that's that I guess I would spend that time trying to make you understand just how deep that is because, you know, yeah, that's, yeah. Why am I crying? Oh, it's you. you are a very, very, very um, crucial, critical piece of this puzzle that is this life of mine. <sighs> so yeah, I feel myself getting emotional. I don't want to get emotional. <laughs> Yeah, I would spend that time doing that. Diabuza, how much time do I have? Actually, it was then. Yeah. So that if I die, you don't date anyone when I'm gone. <laughs> hey, the words I leave you with. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Sorry. Sorry, baby. That's hard. If this, oh. If this would be our last conversation, I think I would <clears throat> want you to know. Actually, I would. Ah, I'm gonna cry. Yeah, I oh, don't want to cry. Gonna do this to you, Why are you doing this, this to me? Yeah, this competition is so sweet. Baby. Why are you doing this to me? Okay. I would want to thank you. I would want to thank you for um, the way you've treated me over the past years and how you have tried to be careful with my heart to the best of your abilities. Um, I think that's one thing that you always want to do is to protect my heart and so I would want to say thank you for that. That's something that before you, I thought, okay, maybe men are incapable of doing. Mm. Yeah, I thought men are incapable of it. But you have taught me that they, there's a possibility and you made it possible. And I would want to say thank you. Okay. I love you. Thank you. I love you. Mm. Yeah. yeah, my god, I'm worried. I'm just worried, guys. I will love on my phone. I will love on my phone. I'm going to spend it now. I think. Okay, let me read. You're going to read? Yeah. What's the pain in me that you wish? Oh my word. What's the pain in me that you wish you could heal? Yeah, my god. Deep. Yeah. Does it get deeper as we as we go? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yo, this one. I'm not sure about this one. Oh my word. Well, mm. Deeper and deeper. I would say, my goodness, yeah. Deeper and deeper. I would say the 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 pain of um, I guess an absent father. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like. It's not one like specific type of pain. Like I feel like there's a lot that is that you go through because of that 
just mm-hmm. yeah so and i think that's the biggest thing that has yeah hurt you um so far in your very young life so i would say that the pain of um growing up without a father mm. yeah i would say the same for you too yeah they're both fatherless, so yeah. Yeah, quite, a, quite a lot in common. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that yeah, in common. Mm. Yeah, daddy issues. <laughs> <laughs> papas, we don't have papas. Okay, next question is Can I ask a question? Ask who me? From that. Uh, yeah, I want to ask you. Um, <clears throat> from oh, our answers. Spots. No, I'm kidding. Um, how do you think not having a dad has affected you as a father? Hmm. Mm. Okay, no, okay. Um, it's, it's not a difficult question. It's a good one, but it's not difficult. Well, I would say I'm one of those people because I, I believe that when you experience something, whether it's abuse or whatever, um, you either grow up to be someone who's going to do the same because of mm-hmm. the trauma that you experienced or you're going to be someone that's going to do like, you try by all your means to do the opposite of that. So... I think it kind of pushed me to make sure that I'll do everything but not be like, you know, how yeah. my father was to me. So, yeah. That's, yeah, that's how it's affected me. So. Okay. Let's okay, go. Yeah. How do our different upbringings affect our relationship? Mm. Communication, I would say. Especially from my part. Like, yo, communication hasn't been like the... Hasn't been a huge part just mm-hmm. in my upbringing, like, and on top of that, I'm an introvert, so most of the time I would spend time just in my head, not like talking to people. Um, at some point, I was even accused of being suicidal. <laughs> but yeah, no, I would say I would say communication <clears throat> and um, yeah, communication obviously, and having to learn that Google, like we're in a relationship already, and we have to work through that communication. Let me just say communication. Um. For me, is it an upbringing? I don't know if it's an upbringing. You know, an upbringing, is it how you were raised? Mm. Or any what happened during like your upbringing or whatever, it doesn't matter. Let's say, let's say, yeah, let's say. It could be like. Growing up where you grew up, when, okay. and with the people. Okay. You grew, okay. With, uh, with people that you grew up with, whatever. Yeah. Okay, I think in my upbringing, I was. How do I put this? Okay, I want to say that when I was growing up, I was that child. Crying in this video, you know why? I know why. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know why. Um, it's that time of the month. It's okay. <laughs> it's so okay, so when I was growing up, I felt like I felt like I am. Um, I'm just always like misunderstood. I felt misunderstood or like is it unheard? Unheard. Yes, it could be. Like, yeah. So how that has affected our relationship, I think I always try to I always defy defend myself. Um, yeah. Mm. I always define myself and I always want to be heard. Then why is that making me cry? It's okay. When you feel unheard, I mean, I will cry too. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. So I guess it, it goes back to communication as well, yeah. in a way. Okay. Okay. It's becoming darker. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yes. Sorry, yeah. Can I pause? Yes. Can I pause? <laughs> hey. What do you see in me that I don't see in myself? Uh, 
that you don't see in yourself. I know. You know? Maybe I need to think a little bit about this. I know album. what I see in you that you don't see in yourself. Mm -hmm. So what I see in you, okay, I, I think I know because you you always criticize yourself when it comes to ethnic. You always say that, uh, okay, not always, but you sometimes um, criticize yourself when it comes to being um, impatient. Like that's something that you're self-aware of, that you are impatient. Yeah. Um, but I see that you are one of like the most patient people I know. Mm. Um, or at least when it comes to the people that you love or like when it comes to me, mm. you know. And based on how you have treated me um, and how you are patient with me, um, I don't know, I sometimes feel like you shouldn't be, mm -hmm. but you are patient with me and I know that's something that you think you struggle with and you probably don't see it, um, but that's something that I do see. Mm. Yeah. Not to say that I don't see it when you're impatient. Mm. I, I know that you are impatient, but... Maybe not as bad as I Not think. as bad as you think, yes. Okay. Yeah. I feel like you're self-aware, man. Like, what is it that you don't see in yourself <laughs> that I see in you? Oh, man. Hmm. No, because I'm trying to think about what I'm thinking about. But I can't say you don't see me because I think you, you're... I think you have, um, like everyone else, I would say, potential that is unlimited. And I would say that whatever you decide, well, okay, you're gonna pursue, you do it, and 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 it gets done. So I would say, but basically, I wouldn't say you don't see that in yourself, but you can do basically anything that you um you can't see that there are realistic things, ne? Not things that don't require talent. I can't expect you to now be a dancer. Are you saying I can't sing? No, I'm saying you can sing, but it, <laughs> it doesn't. That doesn't mean it's gonna be nice, you know. Um, I'm just, <laughs> you know? But I think I think yeah, um, like, just I, on the on the general um, things that, that, sign. That, that everyone can can achieve. Not things that require talent, like expecting yeah. me to play football like Lionel you Messi know, or anything like that. You know? mm -hmm. That's weird. Just, but I think everything else you can you can definitely do, and um, I've seen you do things, say things, and go ahead and do them. Like yeah, what a rock, in the world, yeah. So there isn't much that you don't see in yourself that you possess. I don't think. Mm. I think I'm self-aware. Yeah. yeah, even the yeah. bad things I know. I know I'm terrible in A, B, and C. Hmm. What's A, B, and C? Let's go. <laughs> How are we most similar? How most similar? Your sensitivity. Yes. Oh my goodness. We are very yeah, sensitive. That's the, yeah, that's the yeah. <clears throat> the thing that is there at the top. Very, very sensitive and emotional, I would say. Emotional, yeah. 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 And we empathize with mm. people. Yeah, all in there. Mm. When do you feel closest to me? Hmm. Do you go, go. <laughs> I feel closest to you when we talk. Yeah. Or go when deep. we just talk. <laughs> Jake, yeah. uh, nothing nothing less, nothing more. To the extent that if we don't have like deep heart to heart talks. Or even even if it's not heart to heart, but just Talking. If we don't talk, I feel like there's something wrong. Mm, it does feel. It does feel like, like it's it's a, is mm. this a, even if there's just like nothing wrong, we are just living our lives. We go to work, come back, cook, eat, live life. But if we don't have that, those moments where we just mm. touch a certain topic and then we talk. Yeah, because I was gonna say that because it's not like there's always something deep in our own lives that we're talking about, but mm. like we talk about it in like general, just. Let me see those are banya ban to but yeah we do yeah we do that a lot. So when that doesn't happen, yeah, I would say the same here. Ooh. What do you what what do you remember from the birth of our daughters? Yeah. 
a lot high. <laughs> <laughs> a you lot. go first. I remember getting ready to go to work and then you um you were at the hospital already, no? Because you yes, went in like um, two days before? Mm, yeah. A day before. And so you said that okay, so today's the day they were gonna cut you and all the things. Yeah, so I remember having to, to cancel going to work and you know, having to report but I'm not coming in because you know I wanna be a father today again. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I remember that and then yeah, I was nervous and I think for me, like both with both my, my daughters actually, there's this thing about okay, okay, so it's happening today and then I get scared. Let me say, um both times actually as I was home going to the hospital, I felt like yo, I'm scared. It's, it's like this this the um, the magnitude of this moment, mm -hmm. the depth of this moment hasn't, hasn't hit me yet. You know? mm -hmm. So that worries me. I feel like on that day, I just should just be like, oh, no, today she's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm having a baby today and just mm -hmm. like feel all those things. Excited. Yeah, so it it, it, it it worried me until like I got to a point like, okay, oh, so she's here and then, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, so like, yeah. I remember being worried by, yo, why am I not feeling like, oh, you know, all those things. Just being nervous, bro. Were you nervous? So, I was nervous, bro. Yeah, I was nervous. I was never throughout the pregnancy actually, so what do I remember? I remember that so I got admitted on the twenty first of November and I gave birth on the twenty second. I remember on that day I think I texted you, did I text you or call you? Um, cause we were not sure like when I was going to go to theater, mm -hmm. we always knew, like we knew that we were going to, I was going to have a C-section cause my doctor told me mm -hmm. when I was like seven months pregnant. So I let you know that I'm going to the theater and I was like so nervous, but I don't want to give birth when you're not here cause, um, we were preparing to go to work as you have said. Mm -hmm. And I was so scared. I'm like. I don't want to do this alone. I don't want to do this alone. And then I saw you, and I was so relieved. Um, and you were holding my hand, talking to me throughout when they were like busy cutting, cutting and you, taking out the baby. Yeah. And I think that's a Bye -bye. special Bye -bye. memory that I Utility. hold in my heart yeah. when you were next to me. Hmm. While I was giving birth to our What was the question again? Like, what do you remember from the birth of a baby? Mm -hmm. Yo, I also remember seeing you. <laughs> <laughs> I also remember being traumatized, man, because I I peeked behind the 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 curtain sort of that they put here on top of your when they, Yo and then what I saw, my God, I saw it's like I was watching jaws, man. I saw blood, I saw I saw yeah. Bet. Yeah, no, it's, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Fat covered uh, in blood, and yeah, I saw a whole lot of this. Ah, man. yeah, yeah. Oh, what do you love about parenting with me? Um, parenting with you, I love that you're always uh, um, researching better ways to parent and uh, listening to these people, no more white people, people. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of white ladies on the internet. <laughs> But like they give good advice, <laughs> they do. So I love that. Like yeah, um, it makes it easier. Like yeah, you're on top of things. So I like that a lot. It um, makes things really easy. Mm. <laughs> I don't know if I, I can I, share this. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes when you're frustrated, I'm like, but baby, good to you. Don't tell me what white people say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do say that sometimes. Don't tell me what people say. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what people we were all brought up different you know? like, and, yeah. and, and, and during those moments né, like it's 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 nice to have all the information and stuff but sometimes especially when like around three four it's so difficult when your child is throwing a tantrum you have to remember what the white lady said about handling yeah, tantrums. But, okay. You must <laughs> so understand. Mm. She's confused. She's, she's feeling helpless. She cannot communicate. She cannot communicate. She doesn't confidence. have the words. And it's true, people. She it's really true. Like, <laughs> it doesn't develop. Uh, so yeah, so 
because <laughs> something something happens in the you know prefrontal cortex and yeah, so the prefrontal too. cortex is not that fully developed but not so it's really really valuable information and we're grateful for it but sometimes like, like you know when you're a parent sometimes like when your kids just yeah they get to your the last nerve and you're like you know what comes. the black part it does come because you were raised up like this and you know by us you know this thing actually <laughs> i can solve it, it with did, yeah because it, it brings the um, i think also the thing of like it kind of brings them back to reality but hey yeah little one, i think there's a time you think there's yeah a time no there's a time for everything the bible <laughs> <laughs> you people go people if, if if i'm butchering the bible like feel free to to correct me guys on the comments like that's one thing i never want to do but it does speak about um sparing the rod and, and spoiling the child it's in proverbs i think i might be taking it out of context but i think that's that that it doesn't speak necessarily about punishment rather than uh, what you call it, discipline. discipline it's important yeah. to discipline a child i think uh, the most important thing when it comes to discipline is not to discipline out of emotion anger and yeah, and yeah, anger. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. just yeah, the goal yeah That's the good. goal and also to understand where the child is coming from mm -hmm. to this empathize with the child they, if they didn't intentionally the, yeah, um, yeah. disrespect or like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. That's, that's not their intention mm. So to understand that. Yeah, but also uh, the thing I like about this thing of, of, of sometimes, like very few times, the, the physical part of this, it, like it's good to know that certain actions have repercussions and the repercussions are not going to be good if I do certain things. Just mm -hmm. for example, you offend someone, you, you, whatever it is, uh, you go into jail. That's just the punishment that is warranted for whatever you did. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'm taking it too far. But <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't hit your kids, people, please. Don't hit kids. I don't think you have hit uh, Rihanna this year. I haven't, I never hit her for no reason. Little girl. I mean, she understands even when I do, but I know they I deserved it. And then, you know, yeah. Because this is why, this is another thing about myself growing up as well. Like, I remember the times when my grandfather, because that's the biggest person in the this back. Like, I don't recall a single time where I felt resentment towards him or felt like he was being unfair towards me. Because I, I remember every single time this happened, well, okay, yeah. Right. I think it also depends on the age. I suppose, yeah, yeah, true, it does. Depending on the age of the child. Yeah, I was in four. Kind of four, yeah. four year old. But oh, I should answer the question um, about what do I enjoy? What, what is the question? What do you love the most? About what do I love? Yeah, you haven't answered yet. Yeah. Um, I think when it comes to parenting, I really try to get informed, get information to be informed to like educate myself and stuff so what i like about you is that you have a teachable spirit and so if i say babe i saw um like this thing talking about how to do a b and c you would you're open to it you are teachable and you share like your own thoughts on it question though i might but yeah I do. it's okay to question <laughs> yeah I do. and i will provide answers to your questions yeah. um but you are teachable you're not like hey, so this is how it's gonna be yeah <laughs> <laughs> but you are very teachable mm. you have a teachable spirit and yeah i think that's yeah that's what i appreciate okay it's this becoming dark the last question these are the last, these are the what last have days. i taught you about love what have i taught you about love? so this is me asking the girl now no what have i taught you about what love? has she taught me about love no, what have you taught each other about love word. oh man oh man oh man oh man oh, about love I think the like the many things that we know about love are things that we came to to kind of discover together because mm. these are some of the things that i feel like we stayed together for a while so two years um coming to understand for example like what what love is what true love is and then all these things we learned those things together in a way mm. not necessarily from each other but together mm. and i guess from each other as well but if I were to say just specifically just from you, um, um, <laughs> that, um, wow. Oh. Maybe 
you should go first. I'm thinking I, I should go first. <laughs> I think you have taught me that love feels safe. Mm -hmm. That's one thing you have taught me about. Um, <clears throat> about love. It feels safe. It feels you are not in a constant state of anxiety. Love feels safe, relaxing, mm. it feels comforting, it feels all the good stuff. Mm. It feels soft. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, I would say yeah. Because when I was know? young I don't do that. When I was younger, Sorry. when I was young, like in my previous Not relationship, I thought that um it was love to be nervous have those butterflies never nervous be like what is what is he going to think when i do this what is that thing when i say this like to be just be um on my toes way too all mm. of that but now i'm free it feels free it feels safe not afraid of judgment i'm not afraid of like anything oh, dear. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> this is a bit difficult for me <laughs> oh man what are you talking about love why am i talking about love a few moments later i've taught you that love no. is to be celebrated oh no for sure oh, there's a lot yeah uh, now that you mentioned that there's a lot i i think you've taught me that um yeah it needs to be celebrated not just in the heart but by mm -hmm. actions as well in a way like do something to to commemorate stuff i guess mm -hmm. um and that also i guess um yeah i know for sure i'd love <laughs> to, to celebrate and to be intentional about the celebrations too that's another yeah. thing the celebrating of the love mm -hmm. mm. so yeah mm -hmm. and um yeah everything because i can't say like ah she taught me the different love languages what what well we learned that together right so but yes um i hope brought it up also i guess i guess you i could say but you you kind of taught me but um there's a way to love like there's a way that somebody loves and there's a way that somebody receives love so just because i love a certain way doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna receive that love because to you that does not like maybe register as love you know? mm. so i have to love you in a way that you understand who's this i have to love you in a way that you in a way that you can receive the love i guess that i would say I, I, I learned that yeah yeah yeah, I think before I think before you also I think this is the biggest challenge in this relationship that like having to um now be intentional about loving someone and having uh the mentality of love as um as a service to someone. Yeah. Because before I think it was just me going about selfishly, um thinking it was all about me, uh, me being pleased. All I had to do was just to maybe not treat the girlfriend or whatever. Um um in a toxic way that she would see i guess because i uh, yeah i guess my role was that but i don't know if, if i'm not uh like you don't know that i'm cheating on you i'm not saying harsh things to you blah 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 like i don't have to as long as you don't know yeah i guess but what i'm going to is that like if i'm not doing anything that hurts you that you know of then it's just reviving nah. what did i teach you what did you teach me? <laughs> Not just <laughs> I won't be deceiving. When you use video, can you be deceiving? Go and tell if. Oh man! In detail, you taught me, Uba. You have to be in detail, Paramus Ba. This thing, Uba, love is not received. It's not necessarily received how you show it to an adult. Yes. I don't even get that kind of receiving love. So there was that, and there's Uba and Uba. It's not just about me. It is about me making like like doing um stuff that is gonna make you feel loved rather than just saying well oh, she's my girlfriend and whatever mm. i'm not treating her in a bad way but i'm not necessarily being intentional about making sure that she feels loved mm. i never really did that before so yeah. mm. okay. mm. 
always wanted to be the prize yeah mm -hmm. uh, we have reached the end of the video mm. thank you for watching and i hope that you enjoyed it please do subscribe and comment comment and say what yeah no share the thoughts i mean we said some things that people might not agree with the parenting thing surely people have something to say there maybe i don't know um there's a lot man you can whatever yeah or yeah. you can just drop some hearts <laughs> um but okay. please do comment and share the video thank you so much for watching i will see you guys on my next mm. video i really am interested in those who are parents though like how they they, they approach this this parenting thing do you sometimes do that i want to hear that part specifically do you sometimes lay hands <laughs> <laughs> Bye guys, I will see you on my next video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.